Hello and welcome back. Did you know there's a free alternative for Microsoft Office that's just as good for personal users? It's called LibreOffice and it offers tools like a word processor, spreadsheet and presentation software all at no cost, zero cost. Well, Microsoft Office uh, costs around $84.99, that's in pounds, so probably $90 a year, and this is at the time of recording. LibreOffice is completely free and covers 90% of what most people need. Today, I'll compare Word to Writer, Excel to Calculator, and PowerPoint to Impress, and I'm gonna do that while showing you both on the screen. That way, you can decide which one is best for your needs, and stick around for a step-by-step -step installation guide too. If you enjoy this comparison or find it useful, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. It's free for you and means a lot to me. I just want to quickly apologize for my voice today. I'm feeling a bit under the weather, but I still wanted to get this video out, hoping it might help someone to save some money. Let's start with the word processors. Microsoft Office and LibreOffice Writer. Both Word and Writer let you create and edit documents, format the text, and of course insert tables and images. Word on the left has a more polished interface with a ribbon toolbar. Writer on the right has a similar toolbar setup, but looks uh, slightly more uh, rustic, basic let's say. Going to templates, Word has a bit of an advantage. It offers a more professional ones that you can use them for like cover letters, reports, or even resumes. In the same time, a writer offers them, but they are a bit more basic. The only advantage is that you can download more from the internet. From compatibility point, both of them opens and saves files in docs format, but as majority of the businesses they are using uh, Word, it's easier for Microsoft users as formatting from writer to Word. It's almost perfect, but not always. Sometimes small issues can appear. Another interesting special feature is that Word has the grammar checking, while a writer, it doesn't have it incorporated in it, but you can use third party softwares without problem. Overall, in Writer, you can do 90% of the things that you do in Word, maybe even more, and to be frank, I'm using it for quite a while and I never had issues. But again, this is for personal use and not for companies. Now let's compare the spreadsheet tools, Excel and LibreOffice Calculator. And here we're gonna start again with the basic features. Both of them can handle formulas, charts, and even pivot tables. But again, Excel on the left, you know, takes a bit more points as it has a more polished interface and has a bit more variety of building functions. Calculator on the right, as you can see, is simpler. But to be frank, I'm using it for quite a while. And again, no issues at all. It offers me everything I need. Now going to advanced features, Excel stands out with advanced tools like Power Query, Power Pivot, and of course, integration with Power BI for business analytics. Calculator doesn't offer you these functions, but for the basic use and for the basic calculations, you don't need them. Compatibility point of view, both of them, they save the same format, Excel SX format. The only tiny problem is if you have like really, really complex like functions in Excel or if you try to do something for like companies, really complex pivots or stuff like that, you can have an issue when you transfer it from Calc to Excel. But again, that's more for a professional use and not personal home use. Now let's look at the presentation tools. Microsoft PowerPoint versus LibreOffice Impress. PowerPoint on the left, it's a bit more modern. It has a more attractive interface, but it's quite similar with Impress on the right. The only difference that you can see is uh, the refinement in the design, but otherwise both of them they are similar. Both tools allows you to add images, insert slides, and use different types of transitions. Now, if you need like morph transitions or real-time collaboration, then yes, PowerPoint has an advantage as Impress doesn't support this, but otherwise I don't see the point to pay like 85 pounds a year. Now, let's quickly look at some extra tools that LibreOffice offers and Microsoft uh, don't offer them as a default. LibreOffice includes Draw, a vector graphic tool that is similar with Microsoft Visio, or Visio, sorry my spelling. It's, uh, it's great for creating diagrams, flowcharts, and even editing the PDF files. We have LibreOffice Math, and this is a formula editor that allows you to create complex mathematical or scientific equations. Usually this is used by like technical users or even students. And let's not forget Base. It is similar with Microsoft Access and is used for database management. To keep this comparison fair, we should quickly mention some extras that Microsoft offers and LibreOffice don't. First, there is a real collaboration, which works perfect with OneDrive and SharePoint. 
Another really good point is that Microsoft provides a really deep integration across the whole system, like embedding Excel charts in Word or launching team meetings from PowerPoint, especially now when everybody's working from home. And let's not forget other features like Microsoft Editor, Power BI, PowerPoint Designer, and many others. But all these extras, however, comes at the price. And for many of you out there, it's quite a steep one. So for those on a budget, LibreOffice remains a fantastic free alternative. Myself, I'm using quite a lot the word processor and the spreadsheets and I never had issues. That's why I'm doing even this video to show people like you free alternatives. You don't really need to pay the money if you don't use like very complex functions or other stuff like that. Now let's take a quick look at LibreOffice website. It's clean, straightforward and very easy to use. On the home page, you'll find the clear download button and also all the documentation and support if you need it. The best part is that everything is transparent and the community driven approach is uh, very refreshing, let's say like that. It's nice to see a professional tool available for free. If you want to give it a go and try to install LibreOffice, here's how to install it. First, we need to go on the website. That's www.libreoffice.org. Here, we just navigate to download and click on the big green download button. Choose a version for your operating system like Linux, Mac OS or Windows. I'm choosing Windows as I'm using Windows and automatically the download will gonna start. As it finished, let's click open and the installation wizard begins. Let's follow the on-screen instructions. Just click next. Of course, we need to agree with the terms and conditions and me usually I go with a typical installation. You can choose custom if you need just, I don't know, writer or the spreadsheet. For me, I go with typical installation and, and I'm gonna install everything. And within a few minutes, LibreOffice will gonna be available for use. And that's it. You now have a full Office suite installed for free. Let's wrap it up. Microsoft Office is more polished and professional, but it comes at a cost. LibreOffice, on the other hand, is free, it's open source, and covers most of what personal users need. Plus, let's not forget, it includes unique tools like Draw, Math, and Database. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and a subscribe. It's free for you and helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.